Hey guys, uh, it's James with a video related to photography. I'm gonna make this as kind of like short as possible. I'm not gonna like mumble like I did prior to this video. Um, anyway, this is about cross processing at one hour photo places Walgreens, CVS, Walmart, places like that. Okay. Here are my tips for anyone wanting to do this. Um, first of all, go in and with a normal roll of film to get process first. Let the employees get to know you in a sense. Like, first couple weeks go in there with like 35 rolls of film. Then what you want to do is kind of go in and be like, hey, look, I have this E6 film. I want you to process. I trust you at this point. Uh, to know what you're doing, um, and, you know, like, it, <laughs> other, I've, I've heard so many stories online about, um, you know, the employees at these one-hour photo places rejecting their, the slide film, and, and I never have a problem with it, because, again, I kind of build this, like, I'm just kind of this one of those nice customers that come in, and kind of loyal customers, and so I kind of they they kind of know me in a sense. Um, the one the Walgreens I where I live, they uh, they know me as the guy with like the cool cameras, and when I mean cool cameras, I mean the toy cameras like the Vivitar wide, ultra wide and slim, or um, my Go ID, which is the uh, sequence camera that I have. Uh, but they 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 just know me. But I have not I have not this Walgreens yet. Um, God gave him some E6 film, so who knows? I could have a bad horror, horror story to tell everyone after this video, but my tip for everyone else is, who, who's having problems with these one-hour photo places, it's just, you gotta let them know that you know what you're talking about. That's, that's it. That's it for anything, especially at one-hour photo places. You gotta let them know that, hey, this E6 film will not mess up your machine. It may turn out weird, but I want it that way. And don't. And one thing you do not want them to do is you do not want them to correct the color. That's the one thing I did not like. I told them I was like, "Hey, I don't want that. Just what, how it comes. You know, put it on that CD. Just give me this. You know, CD negatives. That's all I want. No prints." And that, that's my, that's really my um, story for you guys, is that um, you guys build a relationship with these one-hour photo places if you want to get uh, cross-processing done, and you don't want to get hassled by, like, you know, by, by this all the time. Build a relationship. As simple as that. Now, here's my question to you guys. Um, how do you feel about this, these... Uh, cross-processing at one hour for other places. Do you feel bad um, for doing it? Like, kind of abusing the employees a little bit? Or do you feel good about it? Because, you know, it's a reliable place to get your film, you know, developed. Because these, uh, the pro, the, you know, the places like Ritz and, you know, all the other professional, you know, photo stores are either A, going to send off, or B, charge you, Either, you know, they'll believe the amount you're, you're paying at the one hour photo place, you know. So tell me your stories, guys. Um, I'd really like to know because I just read a whole thread about it and I heard some good things and some bad things about it. But me me personally, I've had good, good results with these one hour photo places. So let me know. But until next time, peace.